Hi, Larry Gaines. In this video, I want to show you some short trade setups. Uh, and this is based on what we call a volatility squeeze pattern. So this is a period of consolidation. And then what it tends to lead to is you get this kind of compression, kind of a coiling price action. Then it either breaks up or down out of this coiling consolidation phase. So typically, the, the direction of the breakout will be based on momentum. So below here's cycle one, which is a measurement of momentum, price momentum. And cycle two is also measurement. So this is a really fast momentum measurement and a slower momentum. When we get both of those together, it confirms potential probability for the breakout direction, in this case, to the downside. So, And this is also a reversal, moving average reversal pattern that I like to look for right here, this, this orange arrow down. Now, most of these trades I find using my scanner that is programmed for looking for these types of volatility squeeze. So, for example, here you've got UNH, and you can see here on my scanner, UNH, and it shows you squeeze. This is daily squeeze, and it shows three, so the number three. So that represents that it's been in this a uh, a squeeze for three days or three bars and the color code is red you can see here this is red UNH is red so that's color coded meaning that the the momentum on that trade is down all right so we can see that the momentum on this trade is down so that's going to give us potential for a break lower right now it's at a kind of a support level here so if this kind of breaks this level tomorrow look for a potential short now the other thing uh, part of our indicators trading system is the multi squeeze alert so you can see that it was also in a four hour squeeze which did trigger so if I push this to four hours you'll see that that was in a squeeze there that it triggered today and then uh, I'll show you a couple others that I have uh, set up from the scanner. So you can see here this four hour squeeze triggered and sitting right on this moving average. So a couple other ones to look at for tomorrow or the next day. Uh, the other one is to look for McDonald's right here. So it's been a squeeze for eight days and in the red means momentum is down. So here's a look at McDonald's. So this is another one. You can see it actually broke today. I wish I could have uh, captured this one today. So it has good potential for some more downside into that Fibonacci level there. And then uh, there are quite a few actually, but these are some of the better ones. And then another one that looks pretty decent is Lockheed Martin. You can see it's been in a squeeze for eight days and the momentum is down. So here's Lockheed Martin. So also starting to break lower. So if, if you get any kind of snapback tomorrow, look for potentially looking to get into these trades on any kind of maybe snap back up. You can see this, you can just kind of basically see the support level where it broke there. Potential target downside would be to the 382 extension. So if you'd like to learn more about these types of trading patterns and the tools that we use, I'll be doing a very extensive uh, trading workshop this Saturday on directional trading for breakouts and reversals. So if you'd like to check it out, use the uh, information on this email and hopefully I'll see you next or not next Saturday, but this Saturday. Good luck trading.